What is up guys, welcome to Cerny Gaming. If you want to help support the channel, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Today we're going to be checking out Simon Manus, Arm of God and his second phase, Simon Manus Awakened God. This is a challenging boss that takes place at the end of the Lies of P main story and is a very satisfying fight. Simon Manus is an intimidating boss that covers a large area with his attacks, all of which deal a lot of damage. On the plus side, in both phases, Manus is quite slow and highly telegraphs his attacks, making him very predictable and easy to burn down quickly if you play aggressively. In the first phase, Simon Manus almost entirely uses the same two combo sweep attack that covers a wide area. He can do this while standing still or while moving towards you to attempt to close the distance. These attacks are easy to dodge and if you're good at perfect guards, easy to parry as well. It's important not to get cocky though since he will deal a lot of damage with these attacks if they connect. Those sweeping attacks are subsidized by some jumping attacks as well, which don't really have massive range but do deal a lot more damage. These will typically be fury attacks, meaning a perfect guard is best, but they're easy to avoid if you position yourself well. Our strategy for the first phase is to play very aggressively, because the arm of God has slow attacks and high recovery times, so we can afford to get a lot of our own hits in as well. Having a weapon with decent range like the Puppet Ripper is very useful. One thing that I strongly recommend is using the fully upgraded Puppet String Legion Arm. This will allow you to stay at a distance to avoid Manus' attacks and then very quickly close the gap, deal a massive amount of damage and still gives you plenty of time to get to safety or continue comboing. Remember to set your grindstone to the acid damage buff. As a human enemy, Manus is weak to acid and it can also cause a nifty status effect to continue chipping at his health. When we get into the second phase, things get a bit more chaotic, but for us, things don't change that much. The boss gains some ranged attacks that he won't use much since we stay in melee range mostly. He can also grow his new magic god hand and slap you fairly quickly, which, while rude and highly damaging, is still fairly easy to avoid. Occasionally, the awakened god will summon a blue special hand from above. This will slowly reach down until just before it hits the ground, at which point it will explode in a very wide area, dealing massive damage. Be sure to avoid that area. You may get bombarded with what looks like yellow lightning attacks. This can either be a flurry of projectiles, a fan-shaped scattering of them, or a cloud that will continue to fire them at you for a short duration. They're fairly easy to dodge as long as you keep your distance. The boss won't typically use this attack when you're in melee range though, so it shouldn't be a big deal. The same goes for when the boss causes three explosions to occur under you a few seconds apart, which deals high damage. If you keep moving, you'll avoid this. Be careful when the boss does a swift roll towards you as this is always followed up immediately by a quick swipe as well. So our strategy here is much the same as the first phase. Let your shade take the hate and wait until Simon Manus has completed his attack combos before closing in with a puppet string and attacking. You can see here that with the acid buff, puppet string full attack, fable art and a couple of heavy attacks, we deal almost 7000 damage in just a few seconds, all while the boss is recovering from an attack combo. Pull that off a couple of times and this will be really easy. When Manus is focusing on you, simply keep your distance. Don't go all the way to the other side of the arena or the boss will start using those nasty ranged attacks. Instead, stay just out of reach of his swings and wait for the moment to strike. Once the boss is down, you will be rewarded with the Arm of God quest item, the boss's ergo and a pitiful amount of loose ergo as well, along with a cryptic warning about your own spiritual father Geppetto. That should be all that you need to know to take on Simon Manus Awakened God, but if you're not feeling confident, keep watching. I've included a clip of the full fight so that you can see how it's done. Is it not magnificent? Distilled immortality 
and a key that opens a world with no lies. A key that unlocks true evolution. <laughs> Give thanks. There goes a gift from me, Simon Monis, who will transgress even God. Bow down to your God, who will be born now! Show me everything you have. Open up your pencil! Behold, as I discard this fragile body, witness me as I grasp the power of a true God.
Thanks very much guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Take care and as always, have fun.